Well, if you're looking for a blast of color, but you don't have the space or maybe the commitment for a full-time garden, why not try your hand at container gardening? You don't need a lot of space. You just need a blast of creativity and some know-how. Guess who just happens to have an abundance of these skills? Not me. That would be Jen Reynolds. She's the editor-in-chief of the magazine you're seeing here, Harrow Smith Magazine, and she's here to show us how to make an edible planter and a planter for the pollinators. Great to have you back. Thanks, Kelsey. So something I didn't know, if you're hoping to do an edible planter, like with tomatoes or right. other types of fruit, we also need to make sure we have a pollinator planter nearby to attract all those bees. That's right, we're creating a whole little ecosystem and it can happen in your garden or it can happen in your planters on your deck or your patio, but the two have to go together. So. They have to go together. Right. How do we make an edible planter that's good for us, but we keep away all the other critters who might want to eat what's in our planter? So if we have a planter like this one here with the tomatoes and it has the marigolds and the chives in it and some herbs um, what you can do is have some chicken wire around it um, or some even just some spikes um, I like to put rows sometimes I like to put rows um, uh, cuttings in there too just because they have some thorns on it so okay. it'll keep anything um, away but ultimately the animals are very persistent so they are. yes <clears throat> you want to make sure that they don't get into the planter to begin with because once they find that that's a good place to snack, then they'll keep coming back. Keep coming back. So walk us through what's in here. I know tomatoes are the star of this planter, but you've also got some thyme in there, which I didn't know this. They repels yeah. things like ants. That's right. Thyme is amazing because it has these big, beautiful flowers, which will bring the bees in, but it will also repel the ants too. And marigolds and tomatoes are a great combination. So on our website at harrowsmithmag.com, we have all the plants that are great to combine together. There's things that you want to play, that play well together. And and other things that don't play well together too. So give yourself a head start and make sure that you have the right things that are playing in the right And I spot. think we have some video of that here of you putting this planter together. That's me, yep. So we have obviously the edible planter. We're gonna yep. need some pollinators in there to help things grow. So what is next with this pollinator planter? Can we build one together? Is Let's that what we're do doing it. here? Yes, so okay. what we're going to do is, um, you know, we're building a pollinator planter, but it also has to look great too. Yeah. My biggest pet peeve are those planters that have the spikes in the middle and then impatience around that. We're not doing we're that not, today. We're, no, we're, we're better no, than that. We're, yes, we're <laughs> going creative. You can do that. That's a, a fail safe. But what we want to do is put some of these plants in. And I have a lot of plants here, so we have to be creative about how we're going to do that and okay. put it together. So this is a great ornamental grass. Um, and you want to put ornamental grasses in your planters too, because this will attract like the caterpillars to put the larva into. Oh, cool. So when we okay. look at pollinators, we want the pollen for the plants, but we also need a, a space for the, the plants to live as well too. So this is a great big plant right here. So what we wanna do is just massage the roots on oh, the yeah, bottom. You, you really and have you, to get in yeah, there. Oh yeah, you can get right in there too. These are all perennials. So I put a lot of perennials in my planters and that means that I take them out in the fall and I put them in the garden. Oh, so they cool. can overwinter in the garden and then come back in the planters too. If not, it would cost a fortune to put all of these oh gosh, plants in here. So I'm going to put this right here, you know, closer to the middle. Okay. I'm gonna put this. Yeah, I can hold know, it kind of, Yeah, right like that. Okay. There we go. And then we'll put some foxgloves around the side. These foxgloves are stunning because um, oh, see, look at this, it's got lots of, I brought this pot of soil, which I have compost in it, and I have lots of well-drained sand and other things too, but I also use it to take off some of the roots and stuff like that of the planter. That's how we're going to get so many things in here too. We only have about a minute this. left, Jen, so we gotta okay. go hyper speed. Well, with you can planting. see the one that I did there this is on beautiful. the left too, where I put a lot of things in it, and that's, again, because I've been able to, you know, take off some of the, the stuff right here. I'm going to put this um, gorgeous Veronica. What is this one? Isn't it beautiful? It's a Veronica. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, but I want you to pick up this one right here. It's a this bee guy? bomb. Okay. And smell, rub the leaves and smell it. Okay. So in our pollinator planter. Oh my gosh, that's fragrant. I know, Earl Grey tea. So we want to make sure wow. that we have plants that are blooming now, but also ones that are going to come up. So that's going to have spectacular, it's bee balm and it literally attracts the bees. You are so skilled at even pulling these out. <laughs> you, you can, can just dump it upside down 
and go like this. And you can see that, see this one too, with this, with any planter, you wanna make sure that you have great foliage plants too. Yeah. So it's not just green, like this shock of lime is so spectacular. And I'm just going to set it <gasps> in to the front like that. Doesn't Jen, that look so pretty? That's so pretty. Jen, thank you so much for coming on. You make this look so easy. And it really <laughs> is with Harrisman's Magazine and with you here. So thank you so Thanks, much. Thanks, Kelsey. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.